but we just found a bone. That is probably the most terrifying thing. <laughs> Tigers and leopards have attacked and killed people here. I actually thought it's sick and I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you for tuning in to Amy's Crypt. I have a very special episode for you today. I'm currently in India to check out the most requested location I have ever had, Bangard Fort. This place is supposed to be insanely cursed and the most haunted place in all of India. So let's go explore. All right, so we're currently walking through the township that surrounds Bangor Fort. And most of the ghost stories circle around the fort, but there are a lot of structures that surround it. It was a very thriving town at one point, but is a ghost town now completely abandoned. And there's a lot of these houses all lined up here. And part of the legends state that no one in this area can build a home or a structure without a roof surviving and that's interesting because there's literally nothing here with a roof they're all just completely crumbled down but we're going to explore the fort uh, there's a temple nearby the township uh, there's a lot to see and we're hoping to explore all of the structures and there's a lot of interesting stories and legends that go with this place I'm just heading into one of the houses. We want to explore a little inside the structure. Uh, I'm not sure how stable or safe they are, but this one has a little staircase that leads up. So we're going to try and head up that. There's another bigger building here that we kind of want to see if we can get down and explore a little bit, but it's really cool up here because we're elevated and can see all of the township that's in ruins around us and it really just illustrates that legend that no one can build a structure with a roof it all becomes destroyed here because of the curse or so they say Just trying to eat lunch. I got beat up by monkeys. <laughs> so we've managed to find our way around to these bigger structures and we're gonna see if we can get in, in them. I was gonna say that these ones have a roof, but I guess That's not. That's just a normal story. Does that class as a roof? Uh, maybe bats are in the middle of Wasps, maybe? Go up and check this out. This one seems to have a roof behind you. Right, so this one, the, the room that I'm in appears to have a roof, so I don't know if we can debunk that legend or if this is even classed as a roof if it's just like there's another story or it's a terrace something yeah 
And maybe it's about to fall down, I don't know. It does not look that stable. It's a lot of cracks and stuff here. Yeah. yeah, let's get out. Whoa, this one's cool. This one's much bigger. It's like almost a, in a courtyard style. This is quite a stair. <laughs> Gonna go up this staircase. towards the fort now which is the most famous part of Bayard Fort uh, so we'll go check that out we don't want to get caught out um, before the sun sets what is that sounds like a boar humping how do you know what a boar humping sounds oh, like? Okay. Let's go look what it is. <laughs> What's this thing? I think we walked away from this. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Maybe it's like pigeon. It really didn't sound like a pigeon though when it first went. No. Is it inside the building? Is that it there? Where? We think that noise was a pigeon and we can see it up there where I was just standing. But when it first made that noise, it sounded a lot different to a pigeon cooing. Ugh. So I was trying uh, to convey to you guys that the fort closes every night at sunset and people are forbidden from entering this area after dark and they say that this is because the fort is so haunted and so cursed that there's a lot of paranormal activity that occurs in here. People fear that if you enter the fort after night you never return again. So we're going to do our best to try and get back in after dark but I don't actually know if we're going to be able to achieve that we're going to try our hardest but I mean we'll explore what we can during the day and it's still very cool to be here so we're just walking up through the remainder of the township towards the fort and what is really cool is it's built on the side of a mountain so you can kind of just see it ahead just elevated What is very cool is this temple on top of a mountain behind me. I can't find any information about it or if it's linked to Bangard and its ghost stories, but on Google Maps it is listed as the Haunted Temple. So I really love it and I just wanted to stop and show it to you guys. We're just about to go for an entrance that surrounds the garden ahead and then through to the fort.
we just made it into the garden and it's actually quite beautiful and what's really cool is it's adorned by several temples which we will check out some of them are really impressive too but i'm really excited because just behind me is bangered fort most haunted place in india on this staircase and it doesn't look like it's heaps easy to get up but I'm gonna gonna try the big staircase that we just ascended up to get to the top of this platform as you get to the top of it there's just this huge drop to nothing huge drop to your doom. From up here you can also see how big the fort and its surroundings are. So we have a lot of tourists around and there's not heaps but the ones that are around are super loud. They're just yelling at each other and I don't know what they're doing. There's also, I don't know what's going on down there but there's a, a little fire, a whole bunch of people around it and they're singing and like making beats, I guess. That's what you want to call it. But um, I don't know if it's a ceremony or like a religious thing or really what's going on down there. So you might actually hear that. Uh, but yeah, if you know what's going on, let me know in the comments. bit creepy in here. This is actually part of the fort just off to the side and it looks quite dark and there's no one in here so we're gonna go check it out. It smells like bat droppings. Yeah. I go up here and a bat like comes at me or something. I'm gonna freak out. The stairs are so bad. There's some kind of nest up here. That's the smell, I think. I don't know if that's a bird nest or... Yes, finally, time to go in the fort. quieter in here. Yeah. So we've just entered the fort and we went in a side entry where there doesn't seem to be anyone which is really cool. They're kind of all just going straight through the middle. So I don't think anyone really knows about this little entry which is good for us. <laughs> but this just looks really spooky down here. This looks like a scene out of some kind of horror movie. This definitely sets the tone that this is a haunted location. Someone was having a cigarette. <laughs> oh, it's a so we've just found a little shrine with incense. Ooh. Incense burning and some offerings, which is kind of cool. Some oil down here too. It looks like a lot of people come here to do this kind of thing. There's a few cigarettes stuck in here. And this wall's like super, super black from soot. 
This one too. Hello. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, there's another one here too. These dangerous monkeys? I don't know. They look how long his tail is. They look a bit um gumby, like they wouldn't be dangerous. <laughs> but now that that one was just I don't know. Why don't you go into his little pen? There's also another offering shrine here as well. This one has way more cigarettes. It's kind of gross. Then as we're standing inside Bangor 4, I want to tell you one of its spooky stories that makes this place supposedly cursed. The reason why Bangor Fort was built was a king built it in the later half of the 16th century for his son. The king made a deal with a local guru who lived and worshipped nearby that this fort would never overshadow his shrine where he prayed. However, when the king died and he passed the fort on to his son, his son continued construction, kept building onto the fort, eventually it overshadowed the guru's temple and ever since then this area has said to be cursed. That guru's tomb is still in existence and we are going to check that out today. Now, either side of the creepy hallway are two very dark doors. We don't know what they lead into but there's one right here so we're going to go in. The other one had monkeys in it. Uh, yeah I don't want to get Bitten by an animal or anything today. Oh wow. Whoa. Can you see how tall it yeah, is? Yeah, that's very high. There's. Oh, it stinks. There's definitely bat droppings in here. Oh. Yeah, let's get out. Is it bats? I don't know. It stinks. It smells like poo. Oh. Is that a hole? Yeah. Whoa, man. Okay. Is it a staircase or? I don't see no stairs. Oh, shit. Pipes down there. That is. That's like super unsafe right here in the dark. Imagine if someone didn't see that and they just went down. It's actually a tunnel as well. so dark. It should be so good at night. Clean that thing on the floor so I don't fall in a hole. Okay. to temple really well from here. There's a lot of cool detail left around the fort as well. When you look really close, you can see a lot of the carvings and all sorts around here. So I guess we're at the top. Music's still going. It's like a party. <laughs>
Alright, so we're pretty high up now. A little bit scary <laughs> being up here, especially because I feel like just below, behind me here the roof is crumbling, which is kind of what we're standing on. We're currently in the gardens of Bangor Fort and this seems like a nice place to tell you about the other legend as to how it got cursed here. Legend states that there was a princess who used to live in the fort. She was very beautiful and she caught the eye of a local sorcerer or wizard of sorts and he instantly fell in love with her. So he tried to devise a plan that would con her into also falling in love with him. So he created a love potion in the form of a cosmetic and sent it to her. The princess was a little bit sus about this and actually clued on. So she threw away the cosmetic by tipping it onto a rock or a stone. It is said that that cursed the rock, which then sought out this sorcerer and crushed him to death. Before he drew his final breath though, it said that he cursed Bangor Fort and its surrounding area. to point out one of the temples in the area and they don't really have any connections with the ghost stories or the haunting of Bangor Fort but they just look really cool and really unique. This one behind me here is a Ganesh temple. We have a, one over here with a lot more detail on it and there's one here that's completely overgrown by this awesome looking tree. I just want to show this because this is a tree that's grown and wrapped its roots literally around a ruin. So this bit here, oh. you can see the foundation of the building and all the bricks just within it. It looks cool. That's movie worthy. There's hell squirrels there. It just looks like the floor's moving. Yeah, they look like rocks. <laughs> eat a piece of cake and now we've got an audience. Hello! They're not going to attack us are they? I don't know. <laughs> How many is there? Five? Six? I don't know. There's more on, out the door. That one's got a big stick. It's great. Oh shit, there's more. <laughs> I don't trust them. What one's making the noise? You scared of them? I'm not scared of them, I like them. <laughs> Which one's your favourite monkey? I like the little baby ones, I don't have a favourite. I don't know. They're leaving us alone. Yeah, except this one. I'm gonna name that one Mandy. Why? I don't know, seems like a Mandy. <laughs> I think that one's disabled or something. Aww. He knows how to do handstand. What a darling. What's this one doing? I don't want to know what that one's doing. It could just be a natural thing from 
a lot of animals around here, but we just found a bone down here. It's, uh, it's uh, in the garden in front of the fort. Don't know why that's here. It's pretty big. It's probably a cow. It's quite large, yeah. found this path and we're following it because it looks like it's leading out to an awesome temple I'm not sure what that one is but it just it looks amazing so we got to go see it So we're, we're just out the back side of the Mangla Devi temple, that is what it's called. And you can just see the detail that goes into these places of worship is amazing. Alright, so we've just left the wall of uh, Banger. And we're headed out to the tomb of Balanat, and that is the guru who I spoke about a bit earlier. And it was actually a real person because they're actually buried there, it's their tomb. And there were the person said to have cursed Bangad because the fort was built that overshadowed his place of prayer. So we're gonna go suss that out and see what it looks like. channel I always talk a lot about wells and find them everywhere that we visit and this one's very huge it's <laughs> quite impressive actually outside of the walls of Bangor so we'll definitely be coming here tonight to investigate we are hopefully going to be able to get back into the town or possibly the fort though but mm, it's hard to say at this point now that it's quiet here they're really sort of waking up now the people are gone it's super dark tigers and leopards have attacked and killed people here I actually feel a bit sick, I need to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, I have my part two video coming very soon, which will have a lot of paranormal investigations here at Bangard Fort in it. If you're after any more reading on haunted places that I visited, including this one, head to amyscrypt.com. And remember guys, until next time, stay spooky.